Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are on the road getting ready to go to an auction. It starts at three o'clock. So I am getting there a little bit early. This is Bolt's auction, which is only about probably 15 minutes from where I live. And I did go yesterday, Sunday for the preview. And there are some interesting items that I wanna bid on. So maybe I will be able to sneak you guys in to show you footage of what this auction looks like. I don't think I've filmed this auction house. Nope, haven't filmed in this one before. So um, hit that like and subscribe button and let's see what we find. Here I'm going to insert a little bit of footage. Now the orientation of this is up and down rather than horizontal, but hopefully this will work. Here we were looking at Royal Albert Old Country Roses, and I was catching a mixer underneath. They had, did have a few sets of china. I don't buy china as a general rule. Never say never. Uh, trays of different figurines, lots of dogs, cats. Uh, if they would have had turtles, I would have been interested in that. I did buy birds, and I don't know, I think I missed bidding on these dogs because a lot of times the trays of figurines go for anywhere between $15 and $30. So I think it's a fairly safe bet. Here's the tray of cats that I did pick up. A lot of glassware this day. Baccarat, um, oh, just on and on. Beautiful, beautiful crystal and glassware. Brought very high money. Now, this is a tray that got separated into different lots. So here I'm showing the long leg uh, Bambi or deer figurines. Not Disney to my knowledge, but I will show these in the haul. And on that same tray was a dog that I got for a dollar. So I had been looking at scarves. Here was a tray with Burberries. For me, Burberry is a little bit chancy because there are so many fakes. With any high-end brand, there's going to be fakes. This was Gucci, Burberry, and I think that was it for this tray. I didn't even want to bid on this tray, but there was another tray. I'm hoping I captured footage of it that I was going to bid on, and I believe it went for $115. So still enough room for profit, and that one was Gucci, I think. Hopefully I'll show it in further footage. There are the owls back there. So I was just perusing. I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of some of the trays of items that went up on auction. Now at this point of filming, this was the day before, I wasn't sure if I was really allowed to capture items, so that's why my phone is up and down. Next time I think I'll be a little more comfortable and hold my phone the other way for you guys so we can see things a little bit clearer. I thought the glass birds were very good. Two of them were pronounced Fenton, and I don't know that I checked marks on the bottom. Now this lamp here, I did bid on and stopped bidding. They had this one and the one next to it together, and in my opinion, it went too high. So it wasn't a genuine Tiffany. I don't think I saw a mark on it. It was beautifully done. But um, I'm very careful. I get out of the bidding if I feel it's getting too high. There was the tray of birds. I did win that. These were little Hummel figurines. I do pick up Hummel when I find them in the thrift stores. I generally try to get the big ones. 
I thought this globe was quite interesting, and I did comp that. I didn't find any comps, and I think my girlfriend Stephanie won that tray. Here are the hitching post horse heads. Oop, went by those quickly. Some nesting dolls we went past. This vase on the star-shaped platter was interesting. Betsy made that. Good job, Betsy. I don't know who Betsy is. Okay, the scarves. So glad I caught this. So there were two scarves on the tray, and uh, this was the one that I was really interested in. Was this Gucci? Chanel? I don't remember who it was, guys. <laughs> But I'll try to look that up and let you know. Um, but like I said, the bidding went too high. I was interested in this bowl. And I did comp that. I did find that. I don't remember who it was off the top of my head. Pottery is always checked. I love pottery. Here I'm looking at some literature that was attributed to Dana Thomas for Frank Lloyd Wright. It was a large vase, and it did have this pamphlet, you know, with a with a trademarked Frank Lloyd Wright signature. I'm hoping I caught that. Mm, I might not have. Here I'm finding the tiles that I won. So this exact footage is what I use when I go home the night of the preview to comp all of this. That way you can just look back at your footage and have all the information and not have to remember how to spell things or, you know, what you saw. You just look back at the footage. I caught on to this quite early in auctions. It's probably why I didn't pay attention to holding my phone horizontal. I pointed out to myself, like, I especially like this one. And there you can see a few of the eggs. Uh, one was just decoupage. I threw that one out and the rest I will be listing. This dish was interesting. Snow Crystal, 1998. I don't believe I even bid on that one. And more dishes. Those were Minton, I think. Really beautiful. There was a shot of my feet. <laughs> I think that was Ted Nultz. I could be wrong about that. Uh, Pennsylvania artist. And here is one of the pictures that I won. Holding it upside down for some reason. That shows I don't have my glasses on. There I'm trying to record if there's any damage. box of postcards, very into researching postcards, old photographs. That is one niche I'm really hoping to learn more about and really get into. Very easy to store. Now you're going to have a lot of this for a long time. Most of these are not a quick flip, but as I get older, I thought, you know, ephemera would be great to sell. Nice and light, easy to ship. But I did not um, bid on the postcards. I thought they went quite high some gloves and uh, leather purses. So as you can see, most things are on trays. And like I said, sometimes it gets separated. So you're not quite sure what's going to happen with the bidding. Okay, onto the haul.
$625.65. That is what I spent at Monday's auction. So as many of you know, I started 2020 with the thought that I was really going to hit auctions a little bit harder and then we had COVID. But after the auctions opened back up, I really started going to more auctions last year than I went to the prior year. And this year will be no different. So Monday, I went to the Bolts auction. That is really close to my house. I'm going to say like 10 minutes away. And I spent $625.65, it appears. Yep, that's what I wrote a check for. So today we're going to do an auction haul. I'm going to show you what I bought and we're going to take a guess at what these items might bring. Now I do go on Sunday and I film the tables at the preview. So I just get out my phone. I go up and down all of the merchandise that's going to come up for auction the next day and I record it. And then when I get home Sunday night, I sit down with a pad and paper and I write down everything that's catching my attention and I run comps on it, eBay comps. I also will Google a few items to get more information about the items that I'm interested in and then Monday comes the fun of going to the auction. So I did go Monday from, I think I got there about 2, 2.30 and I left there 7.30 at night, $625.65. Let's take a look at what I won. All right, so first I'm actually going to read the description of what the auction house called things. I don't know that this is always right, but this just gives you a little one or two word description so you can understand what you paid for them. And we're going to go through that and then I'm just going to hold up what's on the table. Now just know that I am about a third of the way through listing the items I bought and I'm not going to show everything, way too many items, but I think I did really good and I was thrilled to win some of the auctions. So, all right, so I'm just going to read down this list and we're going to listen to, you know, a few titles, a few descriptive words and what I paid for it. Shaker boxes, $11. Painted pitcher from England, $25. Royal Stanley fruit vase, $27. A lidded jar, $40. Art tiles, decorative eggs and ornaments, 13 pieces, $100. Horse head hitching, that's all it says, horse head hitching, and $70 I paid for those. Art pottery signed, and it's a green vase, I paid $15 for that. Tray of china birds and parrots, $60. Tray of pen sets, $15. Pheasant cocktail mixer, 15. Iron elephant bank with owl bookends, which I didn't buy any owl bookends. I bought owl statues, but okay. $20. A tray of seashells, so cool. $4. An eagle, that's a brass eagle, a dollar. A uh, tray of cat figurines, $13. Japanese Bambi figures, $110. Yorkie dog figurine, a dollar. So if you add all of that up, it comes up to $527. And then there's the buyer's premium, which I believe is 12 and percent. That's $63.24 and state tax $35.41. So just to get this out of the way, I don't use my seller's ID and I do have a strategy for that, but the full amount is a tax write-off because this is inventory and this is what I paid for it. So um, it's not like you get the inventory for free, but you don't have to pay taxes on the sale amount that you spent. That comes off of your income, if that makes sense. So um, we're going to get started. We're going to take a look at what I bought. Really excited for this auction. I do love going to auctions. Number one, you get to sit down. Can we all just take a moment and appreciate being able to sit down and purchase stuff. That is a great plan. You can bring snacks, you can go with friends. It's a good time. So I do like going to auctions as part of my social activity. Number two is that you really have a good chance to see what you're buying. When you go to thrift store or yard sale or you know the like, you never know what's going to be there. But with an auction, you get to go the day before plus look at the items online before you bid on them and you can check you know and get a really good idea of what the items will sell for. Now you don't always have a clear vision online of the condition. 
you know, whether something has cracks or whatever. So it's always good to preview the items in person and then again, get there, I'd say at least half hour before the auction to make sure that item is still in the same condition. Because with everybody previewing the item, something could become broken between the time you previewed it and the time that you bid on it. So my best advice is to really uh, take a look at what items you have narrowed down on your list right before the auction so you can see the condition. Okay, hope all of that is um, a little clear how I do this. I have gone to probably, I'm going to say about eight, probably eight different auction houses and those are my focus. This is Bolt's Auction uh, Lancaster, I think they are, Lancaster PA. So you can Google that if you want to take a look at what they sell, B-O-L-T-Z. And I really like this auction house, so I will be frequenting this place. All right, let's get started. Shaker boxes. And like I said, I paid $11 for these. So it is three wood boxes, just beautiful. So I'm going to hold up the little one and we'll take a look at the construction of it. So you can see this is what it looks like. Really pretty. I think, I will try not to say really pretty too much. I think this might be cherry wood. The wood is not marked, but the brand is marked. D-H-E. And it has the date, i got to get it out of the light, 1985. So three boxes, two of them were the D-H-E, and this lighter one, is Shaker Boxes by, trying to see, uh, it looks like Harlan Savage. Could that be right? <laughs> Harlan Savage. So I got the three boxes for $11, and just know that I will try to let you know when things are listed or not, but I'm not gonna remember the price. Most of this is gonna be auction in my store, because when I buy at auction, a lot of times I run auction. Okay, so $11 I paid for the three. All right, painted picture from England. Which one is that? I'm thinking I got a couple of, I think it is this picture here. How beautiful is this? So that's what it looks like. Now I think this might be the yellow peony print. There was a yellow poppy print in um, Royal Dalton, I think it is. I don't even know. This is different. This is Norfolk uh, Dalton. Burslem. So D-O-U-L-T-O-N-B-U-R-S-L-E-M. And that's what that looks like. This is antique. How stunningly gorgeous. And what did I pay for this guy? $25. And he is listed. Try to be careful putting everything down. Next up is the Royal Stanley Fruit Vase. And I have that right here. So this is what Royal Stanley looks like. And it is just, uh, these almost look like pears to me, but they're round. So I'm going to say peaches, a peaches vase. And you're not going to be able to see the mark on the bottom, I don't think, but it is marked. And for this, I paid 27 a little bit high, but I feel that I'm still getting my feet wet in auctions. Now, if something goes really high, I back out of the bidding, unless I'm positive, you know, that I know what I'm bidding on. So um, I'm pretty strict with myself. I don't get too carried away in the bidding. And next up is a lidded jar. This I love. Where did I put this? So here this jar is, and it is an egg corn uh, design. And that is what the inside of the jar looks like. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. And this is a frame. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. E-P-H-R-A-I-M. This is a frame, and the artist's initials is usually on the bottom. So this is B-H, I think it was Becky Henson, Hansen, something like that. I did find Becky's initials. You can go on this website and you can look at each individual potter's mark and you know who made your vase for that or your pottery for that, um, for that company, that Potter House. So I don't know if Potter House, I think I made that up. I don't think that's a correct term, but I said yes to this. And what did I pay for this? I paid $40 and I believe this one has bids already. So right out of the gate, this company just puts out gorgeous pieces and I got a few from this. So thrilled for $40. I want to say, I think it has bidding right now. I think it's up to 177. 
So very thrilled with that find, with that win. All right, the next group of items they put together, it was decorative eggs, painted eggs and glass eggs and art tiles. And I knew from way back that art tiles can bring very good money. So when I saw art tiles, I went ahead and um, researched the names a little bit and checked the condition. Very important for condition. And what did I pay for these? I paid, hmm, $100 for 13 pieces. Somebody do the math. All right, we're just going to go through them quickly and we'll talk about what they look like. All the art tiles are listed. Like I said, I have no idea what they're listed for. You can go into my store, Lavender Clothesline, and check out what they're, what they're listed for. So this is a frame, again, E-P-H-R-A-I-M. There's a good shot of the name. Just gorgeous. So this is like an arts and crafts or mission style. And I think this one is five inches by five inches. Don't quote me on that. Beautiful. Um, Lily of the Valley? Lily of the Valley, I think those are called. So I fell in love with this piece. So that is tile one. And these are in no certain order. Okay. This is Motawi, M-O-T-A-W-I Tile Works. This is from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And you can see he's an owl. So I got him. Next up is this tile. This is Liberty. I think Liberty is Liberty Craft Works. So that's what that looks like. And I did try looking up what white berries, uh, what plant this was, and I think it's St. John's Wort. So I put that as a suggestion in my, in my listing. Got that one. I did find this one. And I did look this up and I forgot who the maker is. It's a woman's name. And this one has initials, a stamp of her initials on the side right here. Beautiful. This next one is a copy. This is a reproduction. I would imagine it's sold in the company, in the pottery, what do I want to say, and tile works location. And it is a reproduction. And I would not have known that but the label is on it, thank goodness, because I would never want to sell something as a genuine original, and meanwhile, it is a reproduction. So um, I'm not quite sure what that man is doing, but, um, but the back tells a little bit about the, um, about the company, and this is Moravian Pottery. Moravian Pottery, again, beautiful work. So I got that one. Okay, this is a frame again, a frame. I think it's F frame. Maybe that's the right way to say it. And which way would the, this would be held this way? Okay. And the last one is not as good as the others, in my opinion. So I think I listed this for around $30. The other ones are higher. And it is this here. And this is Ironbridge Ceramics. And it is a trivet. It has feet on the bottom. So I mentioned sold in their gift shop. All right, so those are the tiles I got. And the eggs, I don't have all here. I have a few of them that came with the tiles. So in the box, when you go to auction, you are bidding a lot of times on boxes or trays of things, multiple items, and you have to bid. You have to take what's on the tray. The, the auctioneer will take a special piece off. If he knows, he or she knows that the item is going to bring a, a lot of interest or a higher dollar amount, he might take an item off the tray, then you get to bid on the one piece. But pretty much, because they have so much, they try to group it in lots, let's call it. Okay, so out of the eggs, I believe I got seven eggs. I'll show you two. I got this one. Millifori. <laughs> I don't know if that's how to say that. I think it's M-I-L-L-I-F-O-I-R-I. -I, -I. I lost my way with that spelling. Millifori. So I think it's Italian or French. Millifori. M-I-L-L-I-F-I-O-R-I. -I, I think there's too many I's in that, but here it is. I just love this. So beautiful. That's what the bottom looks like. So I got this egg and this hand-painted egg. Now this one, I kind of think it's a stamp ink, that it's been inked. 
I don't know that all of that is hand painted. I think it is a mixture of stamp work and hand painting. Not sure about that. It is marked and I could not read the mark. So uh, I might have to, I did take a picture of it and blow it up, but I might have to Google image that, but I did not find this egg and I listed it. So I just made up a price. We shall see. Okay, so we got those done. And like I said, 13 pieces in that lot. So how many tiles were there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like I had seven tiles. I might be missing a tile. Is there a tile under there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tiles and 13 pieces together. Horse head hitching. Okay, so for the horse head hitching, I knew right away I wanted these if they didn't go too high. And I paid $70. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. I'm going to be able to lift up one at a time. No, I have two of these. These are very heavy antique iron horse heads. Oh gosh, I'm going to break my wrist holding this thing. Look how beautiful these are. This is something I would want in my own garden. I'm telling you guys, I have very, very old taste. I will lift up the other one, but he's the same. Here is, here is him. <laughs> here is he. Here he is. So $70 for the two horses. They are not listed yet. I have not done anything to them. In fact, I think one even has, shall I even say it? I think he has bird poop on him. Just know the auction houses don't clean up very much. But um, it could be something else, but that's probably what that is. I don't care a bit. I love them. The next item up is this beautiful vase. I love the shape of this. Beautiful double handled unmarked vase. So I bought this with the intention of just buying it knowing it was unmarked. Does that make sense? And what did I pay for this? I paid $15 for this, which I said to myself, okay, it's unmarked. I'm not sure who makes this. And do I think I can get at least 25, 30 for it? You know, is it a safe bet? And I thought I could. So I bought this, not listed yet, not cleaned or anything. The finish is beautiful on this. The color is beautiful. And it does have a little bit of like, um, I'm going to call it bumpiness on the bottom. And I thought it might have been a mark, but it's not. How beautiful is that? So I got that. Okay, the next thing up was a whole tray of China birds and parrots. <laughs> and when I saw that a few of them were especially gorgeous, I said yes to them. I don't have them all here, but I do have a few. $60 I paid for, so we're just going to go through a few pieces of China. I think some of them are glass and other uh, materials, other media. So we will just look at those. So first off, I got this cockatiel. I think this is a cockatiel, right? If I'm wrong, guys, leave a comment down below. Cockatoo, cockatiel, something like that. I don't know birds, but how beautiful is he? And he is marked on the bottom. And he is listed in my store if you want to take a closer look at him. And I got this parrot. I love him. Love, love, triple love. And he is Spode Copeland. So that was number two. Um, a few of these are not listed yet. A hummingbird, this is metal. And I think the hummingbird has a movable part. Am I wrong about that? I thought he opens. Up, he does open. So that's what he looks like. And he is um, just drinking nectar. And is it marked? It is marked. Who is this? Uh, glasses, glasses. Let's see if I can read what that says. Flights of Fancy, Joan Rivers. So I don't know what Joan Rivers Flights of Fancy brings. I'm sure they're quite plentiful because this was probably sold on QVC. But I said yes to that. Well, he was on the tray, so he came with the other items that I really wanted. And who else? I did get this hummingbird statue. Now this one's made out of porcelain. And who is putting this out? This is Lennox. 
So we have a little hummingbird theme going on. And this parrot, again, this is a metal. Is this Joan Rivers again? Nope, this just says made in China. And the interesting thing about him is when you open his body, let's see which way he opens, he has jewels inside. I'm not quite sure what that's about. But they are heart-shaped, heart-shaped jewels. Looks like other shapes too. But somebody might have kept their hearts in, <laughs> in this little parrot. Again, I don't think he came with them. And this is like a, um, a coisonne. So it's like a, a, a textured painted metal, enameled metal. And I think on the table in front of me, that's all I have from that tray. There were a lot more of them and they're either in the back room needing to be cleaned or they're downstairs and already listed. So I'm just looking to see if it had a number $60. And I think there were 12 of them, if I remember right. Up here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six of them on the table means probably have about six or seven of them in the back. A pheasant cocktail mixer. So this was interesting. This is something I did not plan on buying or bidding on. And I kept an eye on how expensive it was. And what did I pay for this? $15. I would have bought this in a thrift store for $15. Because barware is still so hot for me. Anything really nice for barware. Let's see if I put my hand behind it. I go ahead and pick up. And it has its glass stir. Which the minute I won this, a few minutes later I should say, somebody else who was bidding came over and said, Hey, do you want the stir that goes with your cup? You don't need that, do you? I'm like, yaha, yeah because you can sell these by themselves. People look to have vintage glass stirs. So I was nice about it, but I said, I'm so sorry, I want the stir. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some people would just want it for, he said, for your glass, but this is a mixer. This is a, a beaker, a pitcher a pourer, <laughs> all of those things. And it is unmarked. I have not looked this up yet. The next item that I bid on says Iron Elephant Bank and Owl Bookends. So the owls, I don't believe, are bookends, and they are just made out of a plastic resin. They're vintage. This is one and two. So they were on a tray, and I said yes to them. They have cork bottoms. Looks like somebody applied those. And on that tray was also an iron bank, which I think is in the back, not photographed yet. But it's a reproduction, just a little, I think it was a pig. I don't even know what it was. Elephant. Did I say elephant? It was an elephant bank. Okay, it, it all blurs after a while, guys. All right, the next thing up, super, super cool. And what did I pay for this tray of shells? Four dollars. So the little shell I don't have here. I think he's in the back. But the big shells I do have. So this is a conch shell, I believe. Gorgeous shape. The point is there. Very nice condition. I don't see any damage. So I said yes to this one came on the tray. And the other one was this one, which I didn't even realize at the time, I don't think, that this is drilled for blowing. This is a Hawaiian style shell, probably sold in Hawaii. Um, Ala Makana, Hawaii. That's probably wrong, because that doesn't sound Hawaiian, does it? <laughs> I'm not trying to do a Hawaiian accent. Drilled for blowing. So you blow in this end and it, and it gives you the call. Shall we try? Let's try. <laughs> I sound like an elephant. <laughs> Next up is an eagle. And what did I pay for him? I paid a dollar. <laughs> So this is a brass vintage eagle. He does have a little bend in one of his wings. Oh, I think that's supposed to be there. I think it's just curved. A dollar. Doesn't get any better than that. I love uh, brass or metal eagles. 
beautiful. So a dollar was a great, a great deal. All right, tray of cat figurines. <laughs> Bought a whole tray of cats. I do well with cats, especially if they're really sweet. And I think I have, I think I have one on the table. And this one is already listed in my store. This is Odagari, which does not bring a lot of money, but how can you walk away from, from a gray striped kitty who's in great condition? And there is Odagari uh, branding, their label. And did I say what I paid for all the cats? $13. And I think I got, I want to say eight cats or 10 cats, so a couple of dollars a piece. And I'll probably sell the cats as a lot. I'll probably sell the Odagari by itself and then the rest of the cats as a lot and just, you know, keep the price low. Um, all right, the next thing was one of my favorite finds. I loved the tiles and this was one of my favorite finds. I knew I would be bidding on this and I'm gonna get them and show them to you and handle them really carefully. All right, ready for this? Look at these guys. How good are these? So the bottom just has a marking Japan. And these are long-legged deer, Bambi. I don't know that this is Disney. I don't think it's Disney. The auctioneer called it very early Disney, but I don't see any kind of Disney marking on these. So for the two who are in excellent condition, there's not one chip or crack or anything. I don't see any crazing. Really, really nice condition. This one has a little tiny bit of a bump on the cheek from time of manufacture. I paid $110 for these, and these are listed in my store auction. I think I have them starting at $300, which you can comp these types of figurines or statues, put in long-legged, dear Bambi figurine and you'll see what kind of prices they bring. So I was really, really happy with these guys that I won them. And what else do I have? A Yorkie dog figurine that I paid a dollar for. I wasn't going to bid on him. He's very heavy, but for a dollar, absolutely. He is adorable. Whoever made this did a great job and it has a barcode on the bottom. So probably from, you know, it's odd because this looks like a mold. I'm surprised it has this barcode unless a store was selling. Oh, that just popped right off. Yeah, I don't see, oh, it has some numbering on the bottom. It could be from a modern store, but it could be vintage. But look how cute he is, how playful. So for a dollar, absolutely, yes. So that is what I'm going to share today. If you're interested in any of it, just to see what I'm selling it for, it will all be listed in my eBay store probably by mid next week, because right now I'm going through a lot of clothing. So I wanted to get the more exciting pieces on. And like I said, about a third of this is on, plus there's more than this. So that is my auction haul. Thought I'd bring you something different. And hopefully this week I will be filming in a couple of Goodwills. Where else am I this week? I'm not even sure. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.